We want to go right now and update you on another big story, however, we have been covering, and we'll break away from Hurricane Ike for a moment and talk about a deadly accident that occurred in California during the rush hour. A commuter train outside of Los Angeles slammed into a freight train, and this morning there were at least a dozen people dead. NBC's John Larson is in Chatsworth, California, to bring us the latest on that. John? Lester, we're about a mile uh, down the road here in a staging area where they're staging some of the rescue workers, but all the news we're hearing this morning is very, very disturbing. It's been about 12 hours since these two trains collided, one freight train, a Union Pacific, another commuter train, a Metrolink, and rescue workers have been working on top of this twisted wreckage for about 12 hours now, hopefully trying to find still some more people alive in what is easily Los Angeles's worst train accident in history. For hours on Friday, Los Angeles anxiously watched as emergency workers fought to pull those still alive from the twisted wreckage. They believe that there is somebody or there might be somebody still in that car alive and they need to rescue those people. The Metrolink commuter train may have been carrying as many as 350 passengers and had left Los Angeles less than an hour earlier when it slammed into a freight train in Chatsworth, a suburb about 20 miles from Los Angeles. This passenger was all the way in the back of the last car. It was like crashing everything. It was glass, plastic, people were flying, I was flying. Thank God I did not have a table in front of me. I flew into my friend's lap. Those in the first car, however, were not as fortunate as the car derailed and the inside of the passenger cabin was crushed. You can actually see the Metrolink engine that is actually pushed inside of the passenger car. It's, it must have been a very traumatic crash. Friends and relatives rushed to local hospitals, some learning their loved ones were lost. One of my uncles is, is really injured, and my other uncle, he didn't make this. There is no word yet exactly how or why this happened, except to note the obvious. There is only one track here, and horribly, both trains were on it. Now, the very disturbing fact right now is that we know 12 people have been killed, uh, 135 injured, but there were at least 222 people on board this train, which means there are about 77 people still unaccounted for. We know that some of those may be in local area hospitals, but that still is the best estimate of the number, have been in, the number which have been injured. So there could be as many as 70 people still on board that train. We're told that rescue workers are taking 90-minute shifts right now because the scene inside the train is so grisly. Within the next hour or so, they're going to bring in heavy equipment and pull these cars apart and uh, try to recover uh, either the bodies that are inside or hopefully if there's anybody still left alive. But very, very difficult situation here, and the numbers of the injured and the dead are expected to rise significantly. All Lester. right. Grim and tragic. NBC's John Larson, thanks for that update.